Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, and Yesiah the Christ. Yesiah, the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Um, Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. That's a lie. The proper name is Yashahel. I greet the beautiful 12 scattered tribe in the diaspora all over the world. Um, in the precious holy name of Yesiah and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church whom the most star is coming back without coming back for without spot or blemish. Hallelujah. Okay, you can skip this bit and go to the main message. A little bit of housekeeping here. All right. Remember, on this channel, we go to school. We do Cody Cody stuff. All right. Um, remember, my name is Sister Karen, solid gray border with a tick beside it and a round um, circle. Anybody else pretending to be me is a dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report of them. Okay. Uh, watch a video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. Remember the various backup channel. I've got the rumble, not using it at the moment, but please um, subscribe to it the website subscribe to the newsletter and patreon please subscribe to them because at the end of the day when i am not safe on here and when push come to shove when push come to shove and the dirty caesars kick me off their their wicked platform you know where to find me all right okay brother and sister so these are the top 20 brothers and sisters and thank you so much for those of you who have been blessing me through paypal and everything like that i appreciate it all my details are in the description box and the pin comment section all right so this these are the top 20 brothers and sisters uh, who commented on the powerful video concerning Justin Bieber, the Biebs, all right, and what's going on with him with his facial paralyzing and all of that deep, deep stuff that's going on there, all right, okay, all right, Shanna Fisher, Ernest Carter, Emma Scarlett, Adiola Sings, Kane Siwa, um, Miguel belong to Yesaya, Yesuma, Pre, uh, Pre, um, Sister, Flora, Siobhan, Maloney, Menasi, Tribe, Stacy, and Small, Romy, Angel K, God's Own, Lady, MC, uh, Leronda Jones, Bates, Sister, T, Vanessa Kelly. Let me blow this up a little bit. Ashley Dinger. Dion O'Garo. Casey Wellington. Wild Rebirth Ministry. Liliani Morris. And Sister Joanette. Chris Anta Allen, Audrey Henderson, Detra Jones, Paulette Allen, Edna Gaisi, and Teresa Israel. All right. Top 20 beautiful, beautiful beloved. I need the Justin Bieber video. I need to watch a very powerful video. Okay, we are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist and the lawlessness of sin. This is a world that Satan is conjuring up that's going to be very horrible, very demonic. It's only things that you watch in wicked Hollywood, but it's going to come into fruition because there won't be any Messiah. You call him Jesus. No Ahaya. You call him God. And no Holy Spirit. Like you're on your own in terms of your allegiance. And your allegiance is either going to be the gillows or the mark of the beast. That is going to be your only choice. You cannot struggle with it. Right now, we are struggling the fence with that, isn't it? With the ding dong. Right? We're struggling the fence with the ding dong. You can have it if you want to. If you don't want to have it, you know, you're good to go. You can still work. You can do everything. But the time is coming. When you cannot struggle, you're gonna make two choices, all right. Um, and I hope that you go for the gillows. I know it sounds bad, but death has no power over you. I've done a powerful video with that South African boxer that died in the ring, and I spoke about death. You need to watch it. For those of you who are scared, scared of death. 
you need to watch a South African um, boxer, Simiso, Sim you know, I talk about in details about death. It's an enemy. It's an entity. It's a, it's a wicked angel. Angel of death and all of that. All right. So we have a prophetic theme song. It's a song that my good old mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She's a high sweet. It's on toys and sing how near you are. And I remember that song. It's a fitting song for these end times. And the song goes like this. How near you are, how near you are, oh near, you are, oh near, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near, hallelujah. Yes, we are near, we can sing that song with right confidence uh yeah let me do this video actually because we're going to do another video i want let me talk about this so remember the couple of videos all right i did a couple of videos and I, and, I, and I spoke about that there's going to be a short window isn't it very small window that the dirty hounds of this world will soon be coming this is when everything was hyped up the divok was hyped up. That was hyped up. The ding dong was hyped up and everything like that. You know, got to take the ding dong and this and that and what have you. Everything was hyped up. The lockdowns were going on. The social distancing. The mask. You can't work. You can't do this. All sort of wickedness was carrying on. And in the midst of that, I did videos upon videos upon videos. And I know some brothers and sisters called the seat at the time. And I said... All this that they're doing, all these restrictions, all these and sicknesses and covering up and this and that. I said the most that is going to strip it away. They're going to come to you as a dirty hounds and they're going to tell you all, you know, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to get rid of that. And they're going to do it in small stages, but we will have a short window because everybody's going to rejoice. They're going to jump for joy. Yes. No more ding dong. Where's my bell? We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything now. And you see it happening, isn't it? The window is still short. The window is open now. The window, the literal window, spiritually, is open. But it's small. Because what is to come next is wicked. So you saw in the months coming into 2022. You saw in the months coming, this oh, yeah, talk about the social distancing. I think that was the first to go, wasn't it? Oh, no more social distancing, which is a representation of 666. Because when you work it out, it's really six. Um, how did you, it's, it's a two meters, isn't it? But how you work it out, I think somebody worked it out. And it, when it, this social distancing add up to six. So six is a number for man. Six means, you know, it's death really. So they got rid of that, you know, no more social distancing. Then they come with the muzzle. And I said, oh, you know, you don't have to wear the muzzle. You don't have to wear the muzzle. It's not mandatory. Police won't get you for not wearing the muzzle. So they come with the muzzle. So they got rid of the distance business. Then they come up, come up, you know, come with the muzzle business, isn't it? Come with the muzzle business and then, oh, you know, um, yeah, we're getting rid of the muzzle. Then they come with the, oh, you can visit your family. They started off with like, okay, yeah, six of you can go to your family. You can no hug. The dirty hounds are telling us when to hug our families. The, the audacity of these wicked pharaohs. Like, very wicked. So now the come and say, oh, you can hug. Because remember, you couldn't hug anybody, ain't it? You couldn't hug. No one. And now they say, even though some people hug still, you know, we're not following them and they're kind of wicked. Because they're hugging everybody. They even go to parties, having big lockdown parties. The over here in Babylon, UK, the, the ministers, very, very wicked people. But anyways, so they come, so I'm not repeating myself. So they got rid of the distance, the two distance business, two meter distance. Then they got rid of the muzzle business. You don't have to wear it. Then they said, oh, you can hug your family. Six can visit. Then they said, oh, no, everybody can gather together. And then they come and said, oh, you know, the, um, the stuff that you put up your nose and you swirl in your mouth and all of that, which is wicked anyway. We don't need that. The comments are, oh, we're getting rid of that. I think they got Britain, Babylon UK got rid of that testing business in March 2022. We're getting rid of that, they says. And now I think Babylon US have just followed suit 
uh, I think now with Babylon, US, you don't need no testing business. You can just go into the country. But you still need a ding dong 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 ding 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 ding. <laughs> Lots of cool, yeah? Um, yeah, you still, that's it. They're holding on to that. The dirty, wicked devils are still holding on to the diggy dong 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 ding ding ding. They're still holding on. They're getting rid of everything around it. Drip, 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 scraping it away. It's like what? I don't know what to call it. You know these videos where, especially the videos with the cakes, and when I think it's baby revealing or baby something, baby business, when they want to reveal the gender of the baby and they've got to cut the cake and they're cutting it and they're cutting it and the, 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 the gender ain't coming yet in it. But they're still cutting the cake and they're cutting the cake and they're cutting, 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 cutting. Cut. <laughs> Until they reach to if it whether the cake is gonna be pink in the middle or blue. It's the same thing with the ding dong ding ding dong 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 dong. Right? The ding dong ding ding dong dong dong. It's a cake. It's right in the middle. But now the things that surrounds the ding dong 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 dong, like your social distances, your mask, your up your nose, da da da, and all of that. You cut. They're cutting it away. So they're still holding on to the ding dong 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 dong. They're still holding on until when they're ready to say, you know what? Yeah, it makes no sense, really. We're getting rid. <laughs> These dirty devils are so wicked. Because they could easily come out and say, you know what? Right, okay, here you go. Um, I we don't. I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't know for Babylon. UK what what the stanza is at the moment I suppose it's it's because you've got the the people um working in the sick institution isn't it and they, they the dirty hounds told them that you don't need a dung 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 ding dung 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 but that's just a trick and all these people working in the sick institution were praising and happy and this and that which is you know a higher is good gives you a bit of relief but listen to me, they're coming back. They're like a dog without a shame. You know, some dogs, they have no shame. You run that dog 50, 60 times and it still come back. It still comes back. And so, they're going to eventually, all right? So right now, Babylon US must have just think, I think now they have um, scrapped their uh, testing business. You don't need no test. You don't need nothing up your nose. No swabbing your mouth. You don't need nothing like that. But still they're holding on to the ding dong 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 ding 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 ding. They're still holding on. Just like everybody else in the world. But it's not. Um, it's not so much pressure, pressure, pressure. Because it's going. That's the last thing to go. Because they're going to come. And they're going to say. Um, yeah, we, we really thought about this. And the whole world. Is getting rid of the rid of the dingy dong 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 dong. Getting rid of it. We don't need it. It's not good news. It ain't good news because what is to come after that is gonna be absolutely wicked. They're gonna build it up. They, they will. They will build it. They're, they're going to build it up till it gets to the six six six. So. Yeah, the window, short window, very, very short window. Um, and f for us who wanted to travel, you know, like I didn't get to go to my whole good old daddy's funeral because of the dingy dongy dongy dong and all sort of wickedness was going on. The airport was shut down, this was shut, nobody was caught. All sort of madness these people came up with. Madness, that's what it is, madness. And um, and so I think it's more. I had a friend the other day who went to the Caribbean. Um, you know, I said to him, "How how was it? Did you have to?" He said, "No, nobody asked no questions about the dingy dong 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 dong, and um, no testing of the dingy dong 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 dong. Nothing like that. It's just, it's just normal. So for me, I think that's good news in terms of uh, you know I want to go visit my good old elderly mummy." And my siblings at some point just before they come with the wicked thing all right because the window is so short the window is open i know that the window is open it's open but trust me it's gonna close just very very quickly so 
Yes, brothers and sisters, you know, um, a high don't lie, does he? He doesn't lie. He tells the truth. And he warns. So all these things that I'm seeing happening in front of my eyes, I am not surprised. I'm not like, oh, wow. Because I know, because it tells me. And because it tells me, I come in here and I tell it to you. And for those of you who have been following this channel and been watching the prophecies I've been, I've been what I've been saying concerning certain things, um, then you know what time it is. So, yes, brother and sister, let me just quickly say something. Now, some people find the bell annoying. I don't know why. You've got to learn to use wisdom. All right. And the bell is like when I ring the bell. I only ring the bell for one thing. That's all it is. One thing that I can't say on here. That's all it is. That's one thing. So when I ring the bell, when I speak and I ring the bell, now I'm saying the dingy dong 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 dong. All right? But when I ring the bell and I say the dingy dong 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 dong, it's only for one thing. That's all it is. That I got whatever. So you've got to learn to use wisdom. All right? Um, so it's not because I want to be annoying or anything like that, but I just find that the bell is, is handy. It's handy for certain things. All right. So just bear with us for now. Um, this censoring business is very, very annoying. It's very wicked. That's why I say to brothers and sisters, you know, if you can join the Patreon channel, I speak a little bit more freer on there. All right, I speak a little bit more free on this. So if you can join it, then join. If you, if you can't, then you just have to decipher what I'm saying. All right? And not with everything I use the bell. Because certain videos I don't use a bell. And I don't really speak in codes in certain videos or anything like that. Okay? All right, brothers and sisters. So, yes. So, okay. If you come to the end of the video, sorry about that. So, yes, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I cut in of the um of my video what i was saying but i had to get this out because few few people come in section yeah just don't understand certain things and you know get a little bit uptight <laughs> get a little bit uptight about certain things well yes brothers and sisters so the window is short isn't it it's a short window but what is to come next is very wicked it's very, very wicked. So the most star is giving us a breathing space. How, how long that window is going to open for, I don't know. I have no idea. Don't ask me for years. You know, sometimes when I give prophecies and brothers and sisters will say, oh, Sister Karen, when is the second exodus? When is the zombie coming? When is this? Go I don't know. I can give seasons, but I don't know the time and the date and the days. Because the Lord... He's the one who knows that. It's like, like I said in another video, it's like um, Noah. Noah was told to build the ark. He wasn't faffing about asking the most, uh, all right, I'm building this ark. When is the flood coming? None of your business, Noah. Just build the ark. The most stand knows when the flood is coming. You just have to be ready. And this is what we're saying to brothers and sisters. You know, you have to be ready for the end time prophetic events. Don't be bothered about when, 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 because people will live wickedly. That's why the most of don't tell us dates and stuff, because people will live wickedly, wickedly up until the last minute. And when they know, okay, tomorrow is going to be a flood, I best repent. No. No, 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 no. You need to repent and stay repented. You need to repent and stay repented. And that's why a higher don't release his dates and stuff like that. I'm so glad he doesn't to me. He might tell me a month, but he won't give me a year. Or he might tell me a date, but he won't give me a month, if you understand. So like, I had that vision with the snake, with the black snakes all over the world. The dirty seas are telling everybody snakes are coming in your houses. Black snakes all over the world in the month of August. But no year was given. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's to keep people prepared. Because if the Lord said, all right, month of August 2022, the, the, the 50th, then everybody is going to do wickedly until a day before, then they repent. No. The Lord wants you to stay repentant. The Lord wants you to trust him in all things. 
So stop worrying about date. This is the thing. You know, when is it going to happen? You said this. You said this five years ago. You said this six years ago. Nothing has happened. Just wait on the prophecy. Just wait on the vision. Though it tarry, it will surely come to pass. Abaka 2. I think it's Abaka 2. Though the vision tarry, wait for it. Because it will come to pass. See, like I gave that visions concerning South Africa. And that the angel told us that Yashahelites are going to South Africa. The regathering of the 12th scatter tribe will be in the mountains of South Africa. I know some people find it hard to believe. But wait for the prophecy. When it begins to happen and you see that, you're going to say, okay, Lord. I never lies. He never, ever, 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 ever lies. He's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, brothers and sisters. Okay, so if you come to, and please don't compare me to other people. So you might be saying, oh, she's the only one up on YouTube or e but you that's talking about the second, you know, the second trip to yonder um, and talking about this Yasha Hell stuff. And everybody has got their own ministry. My ministry is, is, is different. I've got two ministries. Some people only got one. Some people only speak about the end times. That is it. I've got that ministry, the end time prophetic ministry. But equally, the Lord has given me the Yashahelite ministry. About the regathering of the 12 scattered tribe. That is why this channel is so different from the others. Because while everybody else is talking about food shortages and war and and zom zoms and sicknesses and diseases and repentance i have to talk about all of that i have to talk about all of that and more that i've mentioned plus i have to touch on the hebrew yashahelites it's a hard one it's a hard task it's not easy it's not easy at all but what can I say? What can I do? I have to do as the master tell me to do because he is my boss. And when he says, go and speak to my children, I have to do it. I just have to do it, brothers and sisters. And I, I really, I can't apologize for it. I can't because great is the mystery of the most High. All right. If you come to the end of this video, you have my accepted Yesiah. As the Lord and Savior, even that one was, you know, well, even me coming out and say, oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, his real name is Yashahel. Uh, sorry, his, his real name is uh, Yesiah. That wasn't easy. That, brothers and sisters, you don't understand. That was not easy for me to come out, for me to come out and say, oh, God. God, God, God is called Ahaya. That's his real name. To break down that barrier and to come into the truth, you've got to be confident in what the Most High is telling you. It's very funny. I'm coming to the end of my video. I'm, I'm coming, but I was watching a video yesterday. What time is it? I was watching a video. I've never seen this guy before. Never in all my entire life. I don't really want to call his name on here, really. Because I don't know much about him. I was trying to weigh him up in my spirit. But he popped up on my Facebook. Somebody, one of my, probably one of my Facebook brothers and sisters, shared his video. Never seen him in all of my life. And I've been on here. I never, ever heard about him. All right, I'm going to kind of mention his name once. So, oh, gosh. Um, should I mention him? He's a prophet. Some prophet. But anyways... Uh, it was, it was a mate, but I don't know. He was giving some prophecies, this guy. He was prophesying and it was, it was accurate. And I was weighing him up in my spirit. As I was watching him, I was weighing him up in my spirit because he was so, it was good. But because you don't want to be blinded by all the prophecies and the prophetic that he's talking about and the stuff that he's doing with accuracy. You don't want to be caught up in that. You want to know that it is a spirit of the most style that's using him. But anyways, um, it was so, it wasn't strange. I shouldn't say it was so strange. But he was casting out a demon out of a woman. And he was saying, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth or something like that 
or in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I was listening to him and he said, Jesus, because I haven't been saying, because I really, occasionally I will call Yesiah Jesus. I'll, depending, occasionally I may do it. But because since he's revealed his name to me, Yesiah, that's what I called him. That's what I prayed. When I pray to him, I pray in the name of Yesiah, through Yesiah. Hallelujah, to get a higher. So when this um, prophet was doing his thing and, you know, casting out the demon and he said, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't know. It's just the name works. The name Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it works. Because that is what I used to use before the Lord told me his true Hebrew name. The name works. But as I listened to the prophet and what he was doing, and he called upon the name of Christ. He called upon the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm so used to saying, Yesiah, 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 Yesiah. When he says Jesus Christ, it was like, I don't know. I know the name is working and it worked and it helped the woman. It cast out the demon. But when I heard the name Jesus Christ in that manifestation, using it as a powerhouse to cast out the demon, um, I don't know. Because if it was me, I probably I would use Yesiah. I would say in the mighty name of Yesiah. In the name of Yesiah. Hallelujah. I command you to come out. Yeah. But, you know. It was. It's not easy, bro. So, but anyway, sorry, I went on a little bit. I came off the message. I do. I do apologize. <laughs> I went on a little bit of a rant there. All right. So, if you have not accepted Yesiah as Lord and Savior, please say the sinner's prayer after me, dear Yesiah the Christ. I come before. I know you are the Son of a higher, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah. I thank you for dying for me, and I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahia has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahia. Yesiah, king of glory, I come before you right now. I am asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Ahia, I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah, and I pray that you will help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. Hallelujah. If you said a prayer with your heart, you believe it. Welcome to the body of the Messiah. That prayer will be linked. It's always, always linked in the description box and the pinned comment section. We believe in Acts 2.38, Acts 2.38, where it talks about repentance. You've done you've just done repentance. Uh, we believe in water baptism. You need to find a man of the most star higher, asking to fully dunk in water like a submarine. Whole body needs to go into water. It represents um, that you believe that Yesiah died on the cross. You believe in the atonement of sin. When you come out of the water, you're raised into new life. You're a new creature. You're raised into Christ's resurrection, beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Ahaya. Just like Enoch, all praises, all beautiful praises to the most high, higher, who lives above the heavens. A higher eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Yesiah's holy name. Amen, amen. Let's say the benediction. It's Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Yesiah, our Savior. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen blessings. Amen.